What does Lord Voldemort and Adolf Hitler have in common? You'll find out right after this. Hey everybody, I am Taylor from Beard vs. Geek, where I show you it is okay to be a man and a geek at the same time. Today we are back in the realm of Harry Potter, and we are talking about what connections there are between Lord Voldemort and Adolf Hitler. So here are seven things they have in common. Starting with number one. Both were what they espoused to hate. Adolf Hitler promoted Aryanism, which is the idea that native Germans, or Aryans, were better than other people. They even had a classification system going on based on different traits, different facial features, in order to classify how Aryan you are. But how Aryan was Adolf Hitler? Well, research has indicated that he does have some Jewish ancestry in him, as well as he's Austrian and he's not technically full-fledged Aryan. Likewise, Lord Voldemort in the Harry Potter universe promoted the idea of pure blood. And even though he recognized that not all of the family trees are going to be pure and therefore need pruning, but he himself was not pure blood. He was half blood. He was pure wizard on his mother's side, but his dad was a muggle or one of you and me. Therefore, Adolf Hitler and Lord Voldemort were both what they espoused to hate and were not the pure example that they both held up as the pinnacle ideal. Number two, both had a childhood filled with neglect and hate. Adolf Hitler grew up in a poor Jewish community. It, it has been recorded that his parents were at least somewhat physically and verbally abusive. However, Adolf Hitler blamed all of his family problems not on their own lack of skill or on their mismanagement of money, but rather on the Jewish people, and claimed that the Jewish people were not only responsible for his own misfortunes, not getting into art school for some reason, and his family's misfortunes, but also for losing World War I and the Treaty of Versailles. Likewise, Voldemort grew up in an orphanage surrounding by muggles, the people that he hated and would encourage later on to kill for sport. He had a neglected childhood and did not have a lot of money to go around. In fact, he had no money at all. It was definitely some neglect going on there, especially since he was in an orphanage filled with a whole bunch of other orphans right after the war, and it was definitely underfunded. He therefore blamed all of his problems on muggles and muggle-borns and encouraged people to hate muggle-borns and muggles, claiming that they are the cause of all the problems. Number three, both wanted to get rid of undesirables. Now, Adolf Hitler used the term undesirable to, well, match a whole bunch of people, not just members of the Jewish community, but also homosexuals, anyone who disagreed with his ideas and practically a whole bunch of other people. If you were not Aryan, you were pretty much undesirable. Likewise, Lord Voldemort used the term undesirable to claim people that were muggle-born, who were muggles, and even Dolores Umbridge, following this example, put Harry as undesirable number one. Number four, both had undesirables register themselves and encouraged the registration of these undesirables. Before the concentration camps were invented, or the work camps were invented, Adolf Hitler encouraged to have all Jewish people register themselves. They had to wear the Jewish Star of David on their chest, and they were even forced into grottos later on. If you did not register as a Jewish person, you would be arrested, thrown into jail, fined, killed. Likewise, Lord Voldemort, after he gained control of the Ministry of Magic, had the registration of Muggleborns, saying that they had claimed their magic by illegal means, similar to how the Jews claimed the Germans' wealth by illegal means, and forced them to register themselves. And if they did not register, they were hunted down, arrested, thrown in jail, and just made to go away. Number five, both had a small group of friends dedicated enough to them to help them fulfill their goals. Now, back to Adolf Hitler. Although Hitler was a very charismatic person, he also had friends who helped him carry out his very, very messed up and just plain wrong ideas. 
for example, Joseph Goebbels was the head of the propaganda machine, which Adolf Hitler was very famous for, although really this guy really orchestrated it. He also had Hermann Goering, who was head of the Gestapo, or Nazi secret police that were responsible for rounding up all of these undesirables, and Heinrich Himmler, who orchestrated the Holocaust and was the head of the SS. Similar to Adolf Hitler, Lord Voldemort had a close group of followers called Death Eaters, who were in charge of helping him carry out his regime. He chose Severus Snape to be the head of Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry, and to encourage that of the Dark Arts in that school, which is actually similar to the Hitler Youth Project. Hmm. Also, he had Yaxley, who was the head of the Ministry of Magic, but allowed someone else to be the puppet, meaning that Yaxley controlled him by the Imperius Curse, and was therefore really the head of the Ministry of Magic. And although Dolores Umbridge was not a Death Eater per se, she was the one in charge of carrying out the justice of bringing these undesirables, well, to justice. And it was therefore very similar to Hermann Goering, who was in charge of the Gestapo, and was essentially in charge of the same thing, just, you know, with the Nazis. Number six, both had systematic ways of rounding up these undesirables to bring them to justice. I'm getting tired of using air quotes, but you, you know what I mean, right? Hitler had the Gestapo, which is a bunch of secret police who did not have to abide by any laws. Their chief priority was to find these undesirables, I did it again, and to bring them to justice. And by justice, really, whatever they thought was best. See, they were outside of the law, and they could therefore do anything from fine you to just plain putting a bullet in your head and anything in between, Lord Voldemort had, well, Dolores Umbridge <laughs> and the Snatchers. The Snatchers were in charge of going out and defining people who were muggle-born or who was truant and not going to Hogwarts and would bring them before the Ministry of Magic. However, both brought these undesirables before juries and judges that were outside of the law and did not have to abide by the conventional rules of justice. And finally, number seven, timelines. Adolf Hitler was Chancellor of Germany starting in the early 1930s, but in 1938 he annexed Austria, which according to some historians officially started World War II. Adolf Hitler was then in charge of the German government until his death in 1945. Similar, and this has been backed up by J.K. Rowling, Lord Voldemort went to Hogwarts in 1938, and he graduated with a small group of Death Eaters and ready to fight his own wizarding war in 1945. If there are any more similarities between Adolf Hitler and Lord Voldemort that I've missed, let me know in the comment sections down below. And if you like this video, go ahead and subscribe. Great videos are coming out every week where I show you it is okay to be a man and a geek at the same time. You can also click on one of these two videos right here for some more manliness or Harry Potterness, because after all, if the women don't find you manly, they should at least find you geeky. And until next time, don't go shaving on me.